Missing data can occur when no information is provided for one or more items or for a whole unit. Missing data is always a problem for machine learnings and data analytics. Very often, it causes a lot of issues in the accuracy of model predictions because of poor qualities of data caused by missing values. In these areas, missing value treatment is a major point of focus to make their models more accurate and valid. In some time, many databases simply uh, arrive with the missing data, either because it exists and was not collected, or it never exists. None is native to Python and is an object that is often used for missing data. While NAN is not a number, uh, which is a numerical value, which is used in pandas to represent the empty or not values. Pandas treats LUNs and NAN as essentially interchangeable for indicating missing value of null value. There are several useful functions for detecting, removing, and replacing null value in Pandas data frame. So let me show you an example to see how we deal with uh, uh, missing data. So first of all, we uh, just import the pandas as PD and then we read the CSV file. And this CSV file actually contains the NASDAQ um, data um, in, the, in the past year. So we have the header and we also have the index column. So we set it as the First, call, uh, first row as a header, first column as the index column, and then we extract the value from this data set. So let's see what we have in this data set. Uh, I just want to show you the first eight row to give you a feel of what we have in this data set. So we have the open, high, low, close price, and then we have some. Uh, some time series of data, and then there's some missing data right here. So let me show you an example to see how we deal with uh, uh, missing data. So first of all, we uh, just import the pandas as PD, and then we read the CSV file. And this CSV file actually contains the NASDAQ um, data um, in, the, in the past year. So we have the header, and we also have the index column. So we set it as the First, call, uh, first row as a header, first column as the index column, and then we extract the value from this data set. So let's see what we have in this data set. Uh, I just want to show you the first eight row to give you a feel of what we have in this data set. So we have the open, high, low, close price, and then we have some. Uh, some time series of data, and then there's some missing data right here. Of course, we can go through the whole data sets by observations to see whether there's any missing data. But actually, um, Pandas also provides uh, functions to let us to do so. So we can use a function is now or not now to find out whether there's a miss any missing data. Um, the values or the, the outputs from these functions just will return uh, the, the Boolean values um, for this um, data, uh, for the whole data set. So say, for example, we just um, uh, assign value chat, uh, chat is low, and then we just um, is now provide the is now function. And then, so if that is now and it will return a true, Otherwise, uh, it will return a false. So uh, we just check the first eight row. So you can see because um, in this day, uh, March 24, uh, you can see March 24 is now. So it returns a true right here. So the other is just false because there's not no. Also, we can check uh, the other way run by checking whether it's not no. And no, by using not no function, and then just print the chat. Uh, should be not no. And then we just, uh, I just provide you the first eight row in order for you to know um, 
what not nodes returns. So you can see that um, because this um, this day is um, is not now, so that's not 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 now. So this is as a result to indicate a false. So the other is that there because it's um, not now, so we just return a true on that. So once we confirm there are some missing data, so we, now we have to decide how we are going to deal with the missing data. So the simplest way is that we just um, take out these, uh, this row um, by using the uh, drop NA. That means we are going to take out anything, that, any row that contains an NA. So at set equals to zero means the row. And then in place equals to true, that means uh, we are going to replace the whole data frame. So right now we just print out the function, uh, print out the, uh, the results to naturally know uh, what we've just done. So we provide the, uh, the first eight row as well. So right now you can see that the March 24 is gone because we just um, used the job NA to drop this, uh, uh, to drop the whole row um, from the database. However, sometimes the data is very valuable. So instead of just um, dropping all of the row containing NAs, so sometimes we just would like to uh, fill, fill in some value. And we can use a uh, few NA functions to um, to fill in by either value or by methods. So let me show you an example right here. So first of all, uh, just not drop the NA first, and then say for example, we would like to uh, fill in the value by using mean or fill in the value by using median. Just uh, extract the I calculate the median and calculate the mean of the um, of the of, of for every column. So this um this will by using this dot mean function and dot median function that will return the um, mean or median of the of the open price, high uh, high high price, low price, and so and so. And then we just use the uh, fill NA function by providing the value. Let's say, for example, we would like to fill it with the mean. And then, yep, uh, we need to make sure in place equals to true. Uh, so let me show you the results. So you can see at first, um, March um, 24 is at the end, and right now March 24 is filled with the mean of the uh, of this column, uh, of the open column, of the high column, low column, and close column, and so and so. And we can also just change it to the median to fill in the data. So right now you can see that. Um, March 24, that is uh, filled with the median. Of course, we can fill in other value that you feel um, that is, uh, they are most appropriate. So for example, if you think that zero is um, the most appropriate, then you can just fill in zero or so and so. So this value is just um, what you are going to replace in um, for, for, et for each of the column. But sometimes we might just want to uh, fill in these values to uh, to uh, to a specific column. So, for example, for the open price, we would like to um, specify it. We just would like to use the in uh, to re replace this value and the medians to replace the high. Uh, but uh, but rather not just assigning all of the rows are using the mean or median. So in that case, we have we can also just uh, make it specifics to the column. So we just, um, here we just, uh, first of all, we just call out that column first uh, in order for us to assign values to this column. So here I just use an example. I would like to replace the uh, the NAs just in the 
um, open column. So here, um, let's say I would like to I would like to fill the NA with the median. Just um, in this uh, uh, in this open open column. So I just move this one first. So you can see that. Oh, sorry. I just give a string to it. So right now you can see that we just assign the median to for the open um, column instead of just assign uh, assign all the median to all of the columns, and others uh, just still keep NAN. Instead of uh, filling the NA with a uh, uh, with a with a with a value, uh, we can actually um, also fill in, fill the NA with a methods. So there are two methods um, that can be used in in this view NA function. First of all, just view NA and then that third one is equal, uh, one is called the uh, forward filling and the other is called the backward filling. So uh, let me show you the backward filling first and then in place is equal to true. Segment. Remove all of them first. So this is the, the bad feeling. Bad feeling. So here you can see that the 34, um, the, sorry, the, the March 24 right now just pick up the March 25 values and then just copy into this row. That is the backward feeling. That means they, these row is going to uh, just put all the value from this copy all the value from this row and then paste in this row and then on the other hand we can just use the forward filling i guess you know the result the forward filling is just um we just uh, we just put the value from the um from the in the in the upper row and then just copy and place it into the row below the last thing that I would like to mention is the interpolation. So sometimes we just would like to uh, use uh, calculate the mean between this row and this row, and then fill in the mean uh, into this row. So in order for us to do so, we just uh, use the interpolation, and then we just fill in the value by linear methods. I mean, we use um, this upper value and then this uh, lower values and then calculate um, the mean between these two values. That means just uh, add this number and add this number and then divide it by two. That says go to zero. And then we can apply this linear, linear interpolation. So right now you can see that um, this row is calculated by the interpolations between this row and this row. So I hope now you know some basic skills to deal with the missing data uh, with the pandas functions. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.